In this video, we're going to look at the Thickness Tool, which is part of FreeCAD's part design workbench. Stick around. Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm here to help you learn FreeCAD so that you can design the things that you've imagined. The Thickness Tool is used to create a hollow from a solid object. You can use it to create boxes, or vases or things like that. Let's have a look at it. I'm using FreeCAD version 0.19 that was built on the 15th of April 2021 for this demonstration and I'm running it on Kubuntu Linux version 20.04 LTS. I'll start off by creating a small cube which I'll turn into a project box. The box will be 100 millimeters long, 60 millimeters wide and 40 millimeters high. As usual, I'll create a body and a sketch, and then I'll pad the sketch out. Now to hollow out the box, I need to select the face that I wish to remove, and then start the thickness tool. So you can see that's created a hollow box with a thickness of one millimeter. I'll set the thickness to be 2.5 millimeters, and accept all the other defaults. It wasn't that easy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> no, seriously, let's. Uh, have a bit more of a dig into this one. So you can see it's fairly easy to create an open box. Now let's look at some of the other options. The list of faces shows the faces that you have selected to be removed. The thickness option is obvious. The mode option doesn't seem to do a great deal. You can select skin, pipe or recto verso. And I think what's happening is these are options that are there for future improvements, but they just don't seem to work for me at the moment. I've tried it with boxes, I've tried it with pipes, it just doesn't seem to work. So I'm not quite sure why they're there, to be honest. If you do know, please leave me a comment below. The description sort of suggests that the pipe option is for making pipes, but there's nothing that describes recto verso. Again, if you know anything about that one, please let me know. The join option defines how the corners are created, and only seems to apply when the thickness is created on the outside of the box. So by default it uses arc and you get round corners. If I switch to intersection, you get sharp 90 degree corners. Or in fact, if it's an oblong shaped box, they won't be 90 degrees, but they'll still be sharp corners. If we turn on the intersection option, that doesn't seem to make a great deal of difference either. Even when I have the joint type set to arc, it doesn't seem to make much difference. By default, the thickness is made to the outside of the shape you've created. So this inside length here would be 60 millimeters and this one would be 100 millimeters. And the box will be, overall will be 105 by 65 millimeters. But if I turn on the make thickness inwards option, the thickness is actually made on the inside of the box and the interior of the box becomes smaller. So this length on the outside will be 100 and this length on here will be 60, which is what I wanted it to be. You'll also note that the corners become sharp corners or intersection type corners. And it doesn't seem to matter whether I switch from intersection to arc, the corners stay the same. Seeing as we're going to turn this into a small project box, I'm going to add some fillets to the corners. Now I'm going to turn it into a small project box that has four screw mounting pillars. So as usual, I'm going to create a datum plane with a sketch on it. I'm then going to sketch one of the cylinders and use the multi-transform tool to place all four of them. So you can see it's pretty easy to create a small project box. You could also add a lid on this, but I haven't bothered. Now let's have a look at a pipe section. I'm going to create a piece of stormwater pipe that's 90 millimeters in diameter and 300 mil long. As usual, I'm going to create a body and a sketch. 
Then I'm going to model the stormwater drain pipe. Now, if I select the end face here and start the thickness tool, what I've actually done is created a cylindrical box. So if I make the thickness three millimeters, just so we can see it. And then what I'm gonna do is just change the transparency, make it 50% transparent. And you can see that when I rotate it, it is solid at the bottom. And in order to make it a hollow pipe, what I need to do is double click on the thickness again, add a face and then select the other end of the pipe. Click OK, and now that turns it into a hollow pipe. Now, if we look at the options available, the mode, again, still doesn't seem to do much. Even if I click OK. So I tend to just leave it on skin. The joint type is not really applicable because there are no joints. Intersection, there is no intersection either. And the only one that seems to make any real difference is the make thickness inwards. And so what that'll do in this case is we'll make the outer diameter of the uh, stormwater pipe 90 millimeters and the interior diameter 84. The pipe is an example of where I've used the thickness tool to remove faces to make a hollow shape. Now I'll show you another example using a heptagon. As usual, I will create a body and a sketch, and then we'll draw the heptagon on it, and we'll pad it out. I removed one face when I demonstrated the box, and two when I demonstrated the pipe. With the heptagon, I'm going to demonstrate that you can take more than two. So I'm going to select the three faces on the front, start the thickness tool, and just to accept the defaults, and you can see that I now have a hollow shape in the shape of a heptagon. The thickness options work in the same way as they do in any of the boxes. So you can add chamfers and fillets and so on on top if you wish. Now let's have a look at an example where I model a solid hose using a loft. I've created a solid which represents the pipe without its hollow. Each sketch used in the profile is 50 millimeters in diameter to make it a simple profile for us to use the thickness tool on. The thickness tool will easily convert this hose into a hollow. Because the profile is such a simple one. But what happens if we have a more complex loft? Well, let's find out. I've already created a loft that contains a circle and a diamond. I get different results depending upon the options that I use in the thickness. So to show that, I'm just going to create the thickness. By selecting both ends, starting the thickness tool. So it works for a one millimeter exterior thickness, but it doesn't work for a one millimeter interior thickness. And what I found was that I could go up to 3.9 millimeters as, as an exterior thickness. But if I went to four millimeters, it failed. Now I'm not 100% certain why that is the case, but I think it's got to do with the way in which the thickness is calculated on both the outside and the inside of the loft. Now, if I delete the additive loft, then create a new one with all three sketches, what I found is I couldn't even create the hollow. Doesn't work as an exterior thickness, nor does it work as an interior thickness. I think the mathematics just gets a little bit too complex for it, um, given the the shape. So it works up to a point, depending upon the thickness that you've chosen and the type of object that you're trying to apply it to, you will find that your results may vary. Well, I hope you found that interesting. So the tool appears to be a work in progress. There are options that are not implemented yet. And personally speaking, I think they should be removed from the GUI because they will just confuse new users. I would also expect that they would create forum posts or Facebook posts 
talking about not being able to use those options. And I think it would just make things simpler all around if they just weren't there. Please click the like button if you'd like to see more videos like this. I'm very grateful for your support. And if you'd like to help the channel, please consider buying me a cup of coffee through the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.